Now, whether security experts can get ahead of hackers remains to be seen. For now, they've managed to stay one step ahead, keeping everyone on edge. Now, for more on the threats financial institutions face in this digital age, we are joined by Christopher Burgess. He's the CEO and president of Prevendra and the voice of senior online safety. Christopher, thank you for joining us. Let's start with J.P. Morgan Chase and its data breach. Is there any way to quantify what the financial impact of this hacking scandal is going to be on their business? Uh, on their business, uh, well, we heard Jamie Dimon today say that uh, they uh, they were going to pump in another uh, 250 million or so into their cyber. Uh, their uh, stock took a 1% uh, hit today, and I think that's going to be about it. Uh, the real impact is going to be on how they engage with their consumers. Okay. Uh, now you mentioned that Jamie Dimon said that they're going to double the amount of money that they. Uh, are going to uh, increase their budget basically from 250 to 500 million dollars over the next five years. This is uh, to put towards cybersecurity. Do you think throwing money at the problem will make much of a difference? It it will make a difference in as much as uh, some of that money has got to go to uh, training and to uh, educating the, the cyber workforce. Right now, there is a uh, dearth of qualified employees in the uh, the art of cybersecurity. Uh, around the world, not just here in the United States. So some of that money is going to be uh, used for internal training. He said today that he has uh, a thousand employees looking at this. He's probably going to need more. Okay. And now, what should we really be concerned about? Because the banks are saying that, look, if you, the consumer, get impacted by these hacks, uh, we will cover any of those losses. So what is the greatest threat for us? Well, in the J.P. Morgan case. Uh, they lost their marketing database. They, they didn't lose their accounts database. And so what's going to happen is those 84 million people are uh, going to be uh, the focus of phishing attacks, and that's the P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G. Uh, uh, the letter uh, will come into the house. They'll get telephone calls at their home, all of them trying to elicit additional information. And there are five things that uh, consumers can do. Uh, to protect themselves. Number one, change your password there at J.P. Morgan Chase. Set up their two-step authentication. Monitor your account, as your previous uh, guest uh, mentioned, and also adopt a no-click policy when it comes to anything that comes through. And lastly, consider getting an identity theft monitoring and restoration service in place before you need it. Okay, but in terms of uh, consumers, it, it doesn't seem that they're at risk of lo losing any money, at least if, if it shows up on their bank accounts, the banks will cover those losses. What about the small businesses? Because there are millions uh, no, of small businesses that were also impacted. The, 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 the guarantee laws uh, for businesses are much different than for consumers. So businesses are at risk, and different banks will have different ways of handling this, I'm sure. But uh, my advice to small businesses, especially those who have multiple people touching their money, is, is be alert and be vigilant to all actions that take place with your account. There have been far too many small hospitals and other entities that have had their entire accounts filter, uh, filched by the cyber criminals because they weren't able to take, pay attention to it. And Christopher, lastly, what is the damage to the reputation of some of these banks? I mean, there's also the sense that, look, if they're all being impacted by these cyber attacks, am I really going to stop doing business with J.P. Morgan Chase? Because if, if it's happening there, it's probably happening at the other banks. Is that well, what's happening in the consumers' minds right now? It, it may be. Uh, I, I agree with that analysis. The, the cottage industry that's going to come up is who's got the best cybersecurity surrounding your money, and you're going to watch a migration of people putting their money in the company that they think has the best cybersecurity and the ability to protect their assets the best. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Christopher. Thanks for My joining pleasure. us. That was Christopher Burgess, the CEO and president of Prevendra.